cigarettes. Of course. Thanks. Thanks again. Don't mention it. Do they usually take this long? That depends. Oh, sure. What was wrong with your dog, do you know? Rash of some kind. He's all broken out. Oh. You don't think it's anything serious? I'm sorry, Miss Windsor. I'm just the receptionist. You know, I've had dogs all my life. I've never seen anything like this before. I'm sure the doctors will be able to take care of him. I hope so. I can't help worrying, though. Sure. Do you have any, Miss, uh... It's Clark, Liz Clark. Do you have any pets, Miss Clark? I suppose it'll seem odd, but I don't. Well, you probably get your share around here. In a way, I guess. You must love animals or you wouldn't want this job. That's part of it. I can guess what the other part is. Oh? McCann. Isn't that his name? I was here before he was. Well, he's a pretty good reason for staying on. What are they doing in there? I give up, Sam. I don't know what's wrong with him. No fungus, huh? Not a trace of it. Well, we know it isn't mange. You saw the slide. Must be nonspecific dermatitis, then. Yeah, but what's causing it? Could be almost anything, I guess. That narrows down the field. Where do we start? Keep him under observation for a few days. Check his diet. I guess I better talk to the owner. Wish I could give us something definite. You know as well as I do, dogs have allergies just like people. Trial and error. That's the only way of pinning it down. So what about hay fever? What about it? I remember studying a case. It was a full-grown terrier. Yeah? Had all the symptoms. Sneezing, tearing, nasal blocking, circumscribed swellings of the skin. But look at Johnny here. Uh-huh. Dog's owner took him to a mountain resort. End of symptoms. But the minute they brought him home, same allergy, same discomfort. When did this allergy take place? What time of year? During the pollinating season. That's what I figured. I see what you mean. This is November. Well, we can cross that off. Yeah. That still leaves us quite a choice. I guess food's our best bet. Better find out what he's been eating. Okay. Anything else I should ask her? I wouldn't if I were you. Huh? Not in front of Liz. Sam, I'm surprised at you. Why? I was young once. If you ask me, you still are. Oh, oh, oh. Where's Johnny? Afraid he's going to have to stay here for a couple of days. What's wrong with him? Some type of dermatitis, as far as we can tell. We'll have to make more tests to be sure. I don't understand. Inflammation of the skin, similar to eczema. Oh. We're pretty sure it's non-parasitic. Must be an allergy of some kind. I see. Antihistamines will probably give him temporary relief. Temporary? Yes, ma'am, until we can find out what's causing it. Well, don't you know? Chances are it's something he's eaten. What have you been feeding the dog? Ground beef, top round. What else? Cottage cheese, some dog biscuits, raw egg once or twice a week. Are you sure that's all? No table scraps? I don't believe in it. How about the neighbors? I live alone. I never let Johnny run loose. When did you first notice this eczema? A few days ago. I thought it would go away. Uh-huh. You see, I haven't had Johnny very long. Do you know what his diet was before? The same as now. You haven't changed it? No, not a bit. Steve, his former owner, gave me the list. I've been very careful to follow it. I wonder if this is his first attack of dermatitis. It must be. Steve said he'd been a very healthy dog. I just can't understand it. I don't think it's too serious, Miss Windsor. We'll have to run it down, that's all. Is it all right if I come and see him while he's here? Right after Steve left, he was so terribly lonesome. And he's just been getting used to me. You come any time you like. Thank you. Poor little guy. If there's anything I can do, you'll give me a call? Sure. Funny, I've never heard of a dog having an allergy. I thought it only happened to people. Dogs have a lot in common with human beings. <laughs> well, if that's true, I'd say the dogs get the worst of it. Present company accepted, of course. Nice to have met you, Dr. McCann. Miss Clark. Goodbye, Miss Windsor. I'll look in on Johnny tomorrow. Anytime at all. We'll be here. Take good care of him. Bye. Bye. Nice girl. Seems to be. Attractive, too. I guess so. Must be single. Why? 
Lives alone, no wedding ring. Oh? Sunset Strip. Huh? I said she lives on the Sunset Strip. That's so? I've got her address and phone number. Well, that's our usual routine, isn't it? Just thought you might be interested. Look, what are you trying to prove? Female.